Hello! Um, so I've been asked uh, by a few people how I built my house at Stillwater's Retreat. So I said that I would record a video just to show people how it was done. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so first of all, I placed a solitude platform. Um, and I stood by the entrance to try and decide where the best place to place it would be. I wanted it to be able to see the house at a nice angle when I walked through the door. The next thing I did was place, this is what I do with a lot of my houses, is place a platform up in the air. This might sound a bit strange, but um, I utilize the align button a lot when it comes to flipping items upside down. So I just align things against the platform in the air and it flips it upside down for me. Okay, so now I'm going to place the solitude walkway stone along the front of the building. Next I'm going to place the stairs. So now I'm going to place the door. One archway is too big, so it's going to require two archways sunk into each other. Next, I'm going to add ledges for the windows. I'm going to use some solitude benches for window sill. And I'm going to finish the windows off with another low wall. The next detail I actually discovered by accident when I was trying to create the windows, but it looked really cute, so I decided to keep it. I apologise, but one of the video clips didn't actually record properly, um, but all I've really done that you've missed, as you can see down below, is place walls around the edge of the floor downstairs. Next we're going to place more solitude walkways and balcony on the first floor. And down below I'm going to place two solitude pillars which are supporting the structure. Next it's time to place the floor slash ceiling, which is when I discovered a problem with my build. As you can see, the ceiling height is really, really low. So I ended up having to just move everything up. Next I placed the first floor wall and tidied them up a little. I 
I added the door that leads out to the balcony. After placing this door and the archways, I realised that I had made another mistake and they were poking through the floor. So again, I just moved everything up and then I blocked in the archway gap with some rough blocks. I then just finished building the walls on the first floor. I discovered also that the solitude sideboard made a much better window sill than the bench. For the roof, the obvious choice would have been the solitude shed would lean to, but I decided to go instead with the elsewhere wall rough wooden. I flattened the wall while standing in front of the building and angled it to make sure that it would fit. I then started building the roof on a flat piece of ground. When the roof was built, I linked the pieces together and then I moved them to the front of the building and started trying to put it into place. Once the roof was in place, I used more low walls in order to fill the roof gap. Next I made ceiling beams with some long planks. After building a raised level in the upstairs room, I noticed that my door was in a really awkward place. Although it was annoying and time consuming, I decided to move the door and remove the window. Next, I used a curved wall in order to create a space for the bathroom. I then used some solitude benches and placed them above the windows. These worked really well to hang my curtains on and make it look more natural and realistic. Then I used the solitude shed to create a roof in the smaller area at the back of the house. I then started placing furnishings. I wasn't planning on decorating this house and I didn't fully decorate it. But I felt like it needed some furnishings to really appreciate the building as a whole.
I've also been asked a couple of times about my windows, so I just want to say that the windows were made from common flag posts, and they were very simple and easy to make. All I did was place three flag poles vertically and then one horizontally through them. It's not a very exciting window, but it works well for this build, and it's very cheap and easy to make. So that's how I built my house in Stillwater's Retreat. This isn't identical to the first one because that was about a month ago now and I can't really remember everything that I did in there, but this is roughly how I built it. I didn't take as long with this one as it was literally just a little tutorial to show people how it was done and that was the basics of how it was done. So I hope that that might be helpful to people and hopefully it's given people some ideas on what to do with all of the wonderful vanishing because I know a few people were a bit stuck. So thanks again for watching and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.